blinded by the light. Wow. Oh, that was a great guitarist. Um, I'm going to read two poems, provided you don't throw me off, to, off the stage after the first one. Um, and the first one is appropriately called The Disaster. And um, actually, it is about getting fired uh, from a big um, industrial type job like I work. A disaster. A brief discussion, then security, like ants spring into view. These suits have come for you. Others will pack your things for privacy. You tried to tell them you could work much faster. They stared, and you despaired. You thought your boss had cared when you were sick. She hissed, you're a disaster. All present shook your hand, wished you the best, their eyes like chips of ice. Walking, you feel a vice gripping your gut. You failed the final test. Not knowing why, you drift between blank men out of a tomb you'll never haunt again. Okay, nobody's coming to get me, so um, I'm going to read this one. Um, now, people have told me, I've had a couple of personal friends who are very good readers of poetry, and a couple of them have told me, wow, that's a very personal poem, Jeff. Like, they're not used, they're not used to be writing personal poems, because I write in a third person a lot. And, um, and I'm like, the fuck are you talking about? It's a very personal poem. So the, uh, it's... I'm not Catholic, for one thing. I never was Catholic, and it's written by in the person of a 25-year-old. Um, at least that's what I was thinking of when I wrote it, because the guy's pretty immature. At least that's what I thought. And I get then I guess I, that made me realize how mature my friends think I am um, at 43 years old. So, but anyway, that said, here's the poem. As if I know. We galloped into marrying as if we knew our love would last for life. Not so, and yet we butted heads for years. And why? Because we let our parents tell us how to live our lives. I finally yelled, I can walk out, and slammed the door, lost in what ifs. What if I'd never caved and said I do, as if with me that had been possible? I can move forward now, for now I'm free. Not so, say ancient, hopeless Catholic vows. How can I clear my head of all that garbage? And why, at 25, do I still struggle with a fake God? I cannot understand why except for hell. I might have thought, what if I try out all these chicks? If I'd learned how to stop fearing flames. Married at 20. As if we knew but how to screw and that it's not smart to cheat. But focus on what I can. I can do things. Uh, like dishes. Every night? And why? I swear, Christy was so damn fussy. Not so damn horny after our honeymoon. What if I could just have one one night stand? As if most guys don't get to savor that. How to, perhaps, even have sex each week, but not be, well, in love. Buddies. How to seduce a chick. Jesus. Oh, but I can get back into my groove. Yeah, right. As if a guy can break years like a glass. And why is beer four bucks at Charlie's now? What if I'm broke? They think I'm loaded. Not so. Not so insane. What guy can just move on? How to do this, do that? We mess with it, sure, but what if our whole lives are just a dull mistake? I can hear what my friends would say to me. And why are you bummed? Get your shit together. As if they never lie awake wondering, what if I've said my last I can to life? It's not so easy how to deal with things. And why do we all hide? As if I know. Thanks.